This period includes his first attempts at breaking up areas and using the cubist color spectrum. A man with a mandolin, a portrait modelled as if with a modern scanner. The figure emerges from the surface. Riverdi will rightly claim that this is no longer simple descriptive prose, but the invention of a pure, vivid form of poetry a la Malamé. Calligrapher and composer Picasso breaks down and exposes figures down to the bone. It is impossible to overestimate the courage of analytical cubism. Picasso says, we are trying to take a direction opposed to impressionism. That's why we have discarded colour, feelings and sentiment. We were searching for an architectural base that could restore order. The painting becomes a pure construction with the minimalistic elements of angles and straight lines, interrupted lines and curves, interlinked surfaces. Schemes of perception are dissolved, followed by a death blow against heritage, performed with the strictness and method of a mathematical progression. of the geometrist is increased even further by the use of new materials. Fragments of real objects, waxed cloth, printed letters and newspaper cuttings. Real objects are no longer represented but integrated in the work. On the 9th of October 1923, Picasso writes to Brack, I am using your latest method with paper and dust. I am conjuring up a guitar and using a little dust on our dreadful canvas. The paper glued to the picture brings together various non-illusionist means and depth is created by placing various layers and materials on top of each other. Picasso's basic artistic approach also means that he resists the temptation of pure abstraction. With other artists, it's possible to interpret this as recoiling from their own boldness. With Picasso, it is the opposite. The heroic attempt to interpret what is depicted as a drama, as power and rape. Overlapping, interlocking, dismembering, pure construction of things never seen. These pictures still startle today. With 
this innovative perspective, Picasso gives everything that is jaded by familiarity fresh power. He invents a new realism that is never naturalism, but rather the visual counterpart of a barbaric Malamé poem. From 1914 to 1916, Picasso gives up all daring ideas and techniques and returns to painting. He exuberantly uses the skills acquired in the previous periods. Man with the pipe, man with moustache, man by the chimney. Towards the end of the analytic period, Picasso looks for new obstacles and finds them in 1917 in the art of engrè, to which he frequently refers. The portrait of Olga, the Russian ballerina he meets in Rome and his future wife, is an impossible composition. The dress reflects the style of Engrè, but stands abstractly against an empty background. This non-painted surrounding tears it away from illusionism and nails it to the surface. Picasso keeps the dress, as he keeps everything. Picasso's ambition to compete against the best artists of all time, to challenge them and take things to extremes, is anything but arrogant. He enjoys grappling with the rules, a fight he accuses modern art of losing. Picasso says, you have to go back to the Greeks and Egyptians. Unfortunately, we belong to an epoch that does not recognize any rules you can apply to artistic creation. The Greeks and Egyptians had them. <laughs> 